Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead, take two, or three, or four trades and hot rides, or whatever. But the chickens are doing good. Their water was just a little bit dry when I got home. There was a little bit of dampness there. So next time I go away for three days, they're going to have two waterers, and I'm going to max them out full. So they didn't go too hung too thirsty. They had plenty of food, but the reflection over everything, sunflowers in the corn are doing awesome. I want to say that Dan from Home in the Sticks, he's got a three sisters thing. I don't know what the third one is, but when the corn gets so high that he's planting pole beans underneath, and that'll climb up the corn stalks, because after you pick your corn, you might as well have something grow up it. So anyway, yeah, I got a little fire going. I do not have to work Saturday or Sunday, and I'm so blessed. So, uh, reflection over the weekend. I got a lot of videos out, and I thank everybody that watched the videos, and I thank the three people that I had collaboration with. How amazing. I tried to get a collaboration with, with, with Yankee Outdoor Adventures a long time ago, but he had a stalker, <laughs> and it was quite fortunate that was close to the time I went down there, but I got to meet him this time. I didn't get a video of it, but I got to meet him this time, very short. We probably got five minutes together, and uh, Jeff changed his channel name. Southern Ohio Solar Homestead because he's growing a lot of food and he wants to double it next year or more and, and I, I did explain DIY is not a good title because what we're looking at here is when I explain to people that I am DIY Solar Homestead then after I'm done speaking they're like oh do it yourself oh I get it they didn't hear anything I said. They didn't get it. So I will eventually, when I get the batteries hooked up, I'm no longer DIY. All the batteries Jeff gave me. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff has an amazing wife. She, she lets him do a lot of that stuff. Solar and the batteries and all the amenities is not cheap. So God bless her too. Without, without her as a backbone supporting the system, he wouldn't have such a solar system that he has. Together they are a beautiful team. So uh, I will, yeah, I want to get rid of the DIY soon. It might be fit because I need to get my ass back in the gym. Okay, so what do you think? Fit solar homestead? <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I'll wait till I get to the uh, country. So yeah. Before I make the next trip, I need uh, tires. I don't know about brakes yet. They're acting funny. Probably because I got a lot of weight in the back of the van still. Um, on a couple of the days that I had some time, I got arthritis in my foot. I broke it while I was in Germany. So um, that acted up. It usually happens in around the winter time. But it happened for three days, so it is what it is. I'll get the batteries out soon. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I've been down to the basement several times. I've got a lot of different things in my head as to how I wanna hook up Jeff's 12 batteries. So, to the solar panels. I got three back here that are basically covered by the garden now. <laughs> well, not during peak sun hours, but um, if I can get them all out. Tell me, does this sound funny? I've been a uh, family farming home. I'm looking at the cattle panels. Uh, the, the gate to the, the cattle gate, 16 foot long. I was kind of contemplating is how many solar panels I could get on that. <laughs> it's easy, it's cheap, 
I can just prop it up and then we can tilt it to the angle of the sun. Summer sun, winter sun, right? And it's a simple cattle gate. So, something to think about. Thank you, Yankee Outdoor Adventures. Thank you, Jeff. His new channel name is Southern Ohio Solar Homestead because I told him you're not DIY anymore, especially when you get your uh, your uh, your new oh, I forget the name of it the uh, the new batteries hooked up. And when you just had a power outage just a little bit ago, and you're still running the refrigerator, the freezer, a couple lights, a few other things, that's awesome. You get to run your house off grid during a power outage in the neighborhood. And uh, River Ponics Grow Systems, thank you, Matt. Thank you very much. I feel blessed that I got to meet three of you. Had a great collaboration, and. Uh, by the th and then I, then I got to Michigan and I realized when I got to, chickens are acting funny. Uh, I got all the way up to lower Michigan to uh, Highway 94. And I realized I had a family reunion, so I ran up another hour and 15 to that. Added, oh, my neighbor, he said, one of my roosts, I got a rooster and it crowed. It wasn't a full crow, but they're young. And his wife later said, I have two roosters. I'm excited. They laughed. So maybe I can have chickens in the city. I'm not supposed to have chickens in the city. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> thank you everybody for watching these channels, uh, these videos. While I went out and did the collaboration, did a, the whole weekend thing. I got a bunch of videos that lasted a whole week. Thank you, thank you. So I will get these batteries going soon. And, uh, I will lose DIY, so it'll probably be just Solar Homestead or Fit Solar Homestead. Then you really know who I really am when I get back in shape. There's a six pack down here, and I'm old. <laughs> and have a nice, have a nice sunny day. <laughs>